Hi guys, this is just one last video about the singular value decomposition. Okay, um, what's the definition of it? Uh, let's just recall A is an M by N matrix. These are the singular values of A, and we write them in um, you know non-increasing order. So sigma one is the largest, sigma equal to sigma two up to sigma R, which are all positive, and then the r plus one to qth val sigmas are zero, and q is just the minimum of m and n. Okay, r is just the rank of a. Okay, and then for the singular value decomposition, it's the factorization of a equals v sigma w star, where v is v is m by m unitary w is n by n and also unitary did i say that right n by n okay and sigma is this block matrix with the singular values in the top left and then the rest are zeros and the dimensions it has to it has the same dimensions as a okay and where did v and w come from well v are the um, is a unitary matrix which diagonalizes a a star which is an m by m matrix and w is a unitary matrix which diagonalizes a star a so w is an n by n matrix and it's called and so we have the singular value decomposition is this factorization okay um, there's a just about two different at least two different ways of um, describing the singular value decomposition which I'll now um, tell you first off is if you expand um, if you use block multiplication you can prove that you can write a as the sum of r matrices and each matrix is the singular value the i sing non-zero singular value of sigma i times vi times wi star where vi and wi those are um, the the columns of v and w respectively Okay. And we can also write a in a, comp, a compact form. Uh, we can take the r columns of v and the first r columns of w, and we can take sigma r as uh, the r by r diagonal matrix with the sig singular values on the diagonal. We can write a equals v r sigma r w r star. Okay. So th we call this a compact singular value decomposition or factorization because um, we're only like if r is small we only need this is only r columns in each of these matrices so imagine that a is 100 by 100 but only has rank 3 then we're factorizing a in terms of a 100 by 3 matrix times a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 100 matrix okay Okay, so like we're finding um, kind of like a, a lot of information from A, it just comes from like a very small amount of information in this factorization. Okay, and that is all I wanted to say about the singular value decomposition. Um, as an exercise, you could try to um, deduce either of these factorizations from the regular singular value decomposition that I stated below, if you want. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.